Carey in Manitoba, Canada, writes to me and he says, if I take the cover off, is there an easy way to tell if my old 1980 Harman Kardon amp is a class A or a class D amplifier? What should I look for that would tell me what class the amp is? Can I use my kilowatt meter to see how much current the amp draws while at rest versus how much draws while playing loudly to tell me if it's a class A or class D? Well, yeah, that would be any, without taking the cover off, that's the easiest way. Class D amplifiers idle at almost no current draw at all. So a class AB amplifier is going to have a certain amount of power that it idles at, which is why it gets warm as it sits there. So from idle to playing something, if you're drawing, I don't know, 10, 20, 30, 40 watts, you probably have a class AB amplifier. And I would say that any amplifier from the 1980s, definitely class AB, not, not even worth measuring that. Because <clears throat> in the 1980s, while we had class D technology, no one was, was using it, not to my knowledge. It wasn't until, oh gosh, I think our first, we, we were one of the first with the PS Audio, um, uh, the, uh, what, what did we call that even? Gosh, it was the, the hybrid class A. It was a, uh, and a takeoff of what Infinity had done, which was probably the first I'm aware of, but that didn't really do class D. So I don't know, I don't want to get into all of that because that, that, it was a hybrid because it used, um, vacuum tubes and solid state and it did switch but that was some pretty exotic technology and for commercial uses i think ours was one of the first and the we call it the hca2 and that was in early 2000s and we were kind of pioneering that thing today class d amps are are, are everywhere Ugh. Not light, as you can see here, and you can see inside, they're not that big. So most of this is the power supply. And in this particular, which is, this is a 1200, um, the Stellar 1200, M1200, it's a monoblock. And the majority of this is a vacuum tube input stage and its power supply, which we put on the front end of the Class D. And it's a great sounding amplifier, I love this amp. So yeah, I, I'm sure yours isn't. And one way you can tell, put a meter on it to see, because this thing will draw a couple of watts. Well, except for this class A stage uh, for the tube. But even that, it's not gonna draw anywhere near. Something like this, which I don't know if you can actually see, but oh, this beast over here, this will draw 40, 50 watts continuous because it's a true class AB amplifier. Okay, so I hope that helps. Thanks for the question. Talk to you later. Bye.